Quiet, bodyguard. Save your hissing for your own kind. As for you, slave, Darth Scotia is passing. Best get out of his way. As you say. <sighs> At least Zash taught your back to bend. Give your master a message for me. My eye is on her, and I know. Tell her that. I know what she's trying to do here on Drummond Cass. You and your master have gotten this far, but it ends here, slave. I alone have the key. Tell her that. You and your master have no future on Drummond Cass or in the Sith Order. Tell her that. Now, get out of my way. As you say. You know your place. Are you acquainted with the big, ugly, half-machine Dark Lord? He had a message for you. Damn Scotia. What business has he, going behind my back, speaking to my apprentice? Trying to intimidate you, no doubt. Wretched monster. More machine than man and dangerously powerful. Ever since I arrived on Dromund Cass as an apprentice, he's made every effort to stand in my way. Ultimately, we cannot even begin the search for Tulakhold's ancient power with Scotia's rattling breath on our necks. There must be something we can do. Yes. Yes. There is something we can do. Or rather, something you can do. You are going to kill Scotia for me. Is there a reason you can't do this? Wouldn't I love to? It would be much simpler that way. I cannot be tied to Scotia's murder. Brazen power plays make the Dark Council nervous. But nobody will believe that a mere apprentice could defeat Scotia. It's impossible, and that's why it will work. So what am I supposed to do? I've begun to piece together the puzzle for Darth Scotia's destruction, but some elements have yet to fall into place. Out in the jungle, a group of slaves has recently revolted. They were working on a colossal statue that has since gone unfinished. I believe Scotia is hiding something of great importance near this statue. Get the archaeological plans to the area from one of the slaves, and contact me by Holo Communicator. In Bizoze, White Dice, Spira, Press, and Kretai. In Bize, Ewanata, Ataragata, In Dice. Does this mean you found them? You found the archaeological plans? Hope there's not too much blood on them. Oh, no, no. I've read much, much worse. Now, let me see. Ah, yes. How clever. There's a chamber hidden under the Colossus itself. I bet my complete collection of Naga Sado's Yavin 4 writings that you'll find what we're looking for in this chamber. As you say. There should be a hidden entrance near the Colossus. It looks like Scotia has an entire underground base. You're looking for a tablet. The tablet is the symbol of leadership of an obscure Trandoshan cult. The lizards believe it was a gift from their deity, the Scorekeeper. Scotia stole the tablet and uses it to exert control over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Give them their relic, and Scotia's power over his bodyguards will turn to vapor. His own defenses will be his downfall. You could try it. It might weaken him a little. Scotia's not stupid enough to retain guards who could actually overpower him. The main thing is to keep Scotia's bodyguards off you. The plans suggest Scotia's apprentices guard this base. I don't doubt they hold the keys to acquiring the Trandoshan tablet. Best kill them all to be sure. Inubis just nas jans, now mipan astanotods jans.
I've recovered the Trandoshan relic. Then we've both had success in our endeavors. But the Trandoshan bodyguards are only part of Scotia's defense. His greatest weakness is that he's mostly machine. The rogue Sith Lord, Grathan, is holding a cyborg expert named Dorotsek captive. He has developed a neutralizer for me, the kind that should destroy Scotia's cyborg elements. Find Dorotsek, get him to tell you where the neutralizer is, and then silence him. You want me to kill him? Whatever it takes. Grathan's estate is in the jungle. Interrogate the scientist. With any luck, Scotia will soon be out of our way, and then we'll be free to pursue Tulak Horde's lost power as we please. Ustaitnians and Parana, Rahitis ni Aino. Please tell me Lord's Ash sent you. Please, I can't stand it here any longer. I don't want to die. Are you Grathen's cyborg expert in chains? Yes, yes, I am, and I got just what you need. Just what Lord Zash ordered. My finest work yet, though I don't quite see what the use of it is. Why, to fell a Darth, my anxious friend. But that's just what I'm saying. I don't know how useful it actually is. Lord Zash commissioned this weapon against cyborgs. The thing is, most cyborgs are only 10% machine. You need someone at least 50% machine for the neutralizer to do any real damage. Oh, my mark's 50% machine, at least. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. If you want it, take it. It's only a prototype, but I guess it'll work if there's one droid you really want to bash. It's in the lab building. Can't be missed. But Grantham wouldn't let me have the power cells I need to power it. You'll need to steal those off his droids. Looks like it's your turn to die now. No. Please. Lord Sash said she'd free me. Not a moment too soon, apprentice. Tell me we were successful. Tell me you have the tech we need to destroy Scotia. I have the prototype. Fantastic. Magnificent. Perfect. Then the time to do the deed is now. Scotia is in his chambers as we speak. Be ready, even with the power you have over him, he will be a frightful sight. Set your nerves of cortosis. Turn your fear into hatred. Remember, Scotia stands between us and glory. Let's get to the killing. Good. Now listen closely. This is how you will kill Scotia. The relic you found under the Colossus is the key to Scotia's power over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Go to Scotia's chambers and show them the relic. The Trandoshans should stand down, or attack him or something. The confusion should be enough. This is the first step. Then I use the anti-cyborg prototype to disable him, right? Exactly. With the bodyguards gone, you can get close enough to Scotia to use the prototype you stole from Grathans. But be mindful. Scotia may be more machine than man, but he's no weakling in the Force. Killing him will still be a challenge. Do you really think I'm ready for this? Of course. You ravaged four tombs on Korriban and tamed a Deshard. What's a crippled Dark Lord to you? Oh, I wish I could be there to see the contortions on Scotia's malformed face when you destroy him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm due to make an appearance at a party in the Nexus Room Cantina. Meet me there when you're done. For just I see. Naprakropa Sorbuli Mumbaris. Nothing yet. What makes this slave so bold as to enter my chambers? Tell me, slave. Are you insane or do you have a death wish? My master wants you dead. And I must comply. <laughs> Skisk. Kill her. No has a man. The dark hat grow I'm your master now. And school. I'm the dust. Not creepo Jixis Yasin. Not Wuja. Clever. 
Zash must have stayed up many a night to think of that one. I suppose you'll be sending my bodyguards away now, or maybe you'll order them to kill me. It should at least be entertaining. Tear him to pieces. Grass not in a sonic. You shouldn't have done that. The bodyguards, they're nothing. Show. But you subverted my authority, took my slaves from me, and that makes me angry. And killing you will be over too soon. No. I think you're going to have to suffer first. What is this? Ha! Ah, did you... Zash! Zash! You've killed me! How does it feel to be killed by a slave, Scotia? Mindless. You don't know what Zash can do. Think. Think of... How many years she must have spent plotting my death. She will kill you, just like she's killed me. Zash would never do such a thing. Well, when I'd heard she'd taken up with a Mandalorian, I was scandalized, just scandalized. A Mandalorian? Does nobody value Sith blood these days? I know, I know. Don't you think so, Zash? Iblaces amins why heis fools. Go and did a seek from Tauhans. I'm sorry, will you excuse me? I need to have a quick chat with my apprentice. If you must. Now, as I was saying. Thank the Emperor you've arrived. It doesn't matter how much one drinks. These parties are just dull, 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 dull. I hope you've come to cheer me up. I have done as you wished, and killed the Darth. Brilliant. Simply brilliant. You have performed magnificently, Apprentice. None of this would have been possible without you. Lord Zash. Darth Anaton. I'm honored. You going to introduce me? Sorry, I'll just be a minute. Don't go anywhere. I have some further instructions for you. As I said, my lord, I'm honored, but why call me? You have nerve, Zash. Nerve. But I thought you were smarter. With all respect, Darth Thanaton, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play ignorant with me, Zash. Scotia's dead, and you killed him. Scotia? Dead? That's the first I've heard of it. When did this happen? Just now, Zash, and you know it. What did you expect to gain? His position? His title? You know it doesn't work that way. Where's your discretion? Discretion? I've been at this party for ages. I may have had a little much to drink, but I'm fairly certain I haven't murdered anyone. Though I have always fancied Scotia's chambers. So much more shelled space. Zash, I don't want to have this conversation by Hollow. Report to my chambers immediately. Yes, Darth Anaton. It'll be my pleasure. What was that all about? Give me time to talk to Thanaton and then meet me in Darth Scotia's chambers. And don't worry. You've played your part, now it's time for me to play mine. We did it, Apprentice. There. There she is. It's Lord Zash's apprentice. Surely she knows. You wouldn't tell us if she did. Warpines Brigan Iswis Buidan. Still, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Colonel, let it rest. I will not let it rest. Everyone knows Lord Zash was at the party when Scotia was killed, and yet everyone knows she killed him. She somehow devised a way of being in two places at once. If I let it rest, we'll all be dead. Don't be silly. I'm the one who killed Scotia. Now you're the one who's being silly. I wouldn't underestimate her, Colonel. She looks dangerous enough to me. But a Dark Lord of the Sith? 
She's only an apprentice, Calaveras. Please, you must tell me. How did Zash kill Darth Scotia? Lord Zash is innocent. Clearly she's not going to tell you, Kernan. Let it rest. Fine, then. Fine. But I'm warning you, Calaveras. Lord Zash is becoming too powerful too quickly. Since when has anyone in the history of the Sith committed a murder so brazenly, yet made it appear that she was somewhere else the entire time? It's enough to wake the Emperor, I tell you. Perfect timing, Apprentice. I just met with that insufferable Thanaton, and I have good news. Who is this Darth Thanaton? Darth Thanaton sits just below the Dark Council in authority. He commands me, he commands you. Scotia was his little pet, but the other council members were more impressed with our little sleight of hand. You would have been proud of me. I went into a reprimand, but I emerged a Darth. You've certainly earned it. I did more than you realize. Nevertheless, what's important is that we are finally free to act. Remember the map you found on Korriban that pointed us to the power of Tulak Horde? The first piece of that artifact, that power, is here on Drummond Kaas. This piece is in the deepest chamber of the Dark Temple. Scotia always hoarded the key to the chamber like a hut hoards his credits. Now I have Scotia's title, his chambers, his research, and his key. He always said I would enter the Dark Temple over his rusting corpse. However, I won't be the one to go into the Dark Temple. You will. Why me? Before I went to Korriban to choose an apprentice, a furious apparition awakened in the Dark Temple, implacable in its anger, murdering all who trespassed on the innermost chamber. But I had a dream. An apprentice of low origin humbled himself, or herself as it happened, before the apparition, pacifying it. That's why you and your peers were chosen. Wait, you want me to bow to this apparition? You must go into the temple and face the apparition. And when you do, I believe that your humility will be the key. Still, I want you to know, I'm not certain you're the one from my dream. I fear I may be sending you to your death. You're a Sith. Start acting like one. You're right. You retrieved the holocron from Korriban when no one else could. If that's not proof of your destiny, I don't know what is. Tulak Hold's power awaits us both. We must not lose sight of this goal. Use this glyph to enter the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple. Humble yourself before the apparition, and bring back the piece of the artifact. Come to humble myself in your presence, O oh Great One. Ah, you don't know me. Has our family fallen so far that the daughter of my daughters does not know the name of Kallik, the name so long revered in the annals of the Sith? You are my descendant. By how many generations, I do not know. But know this. Your strength in the Force has awakened me from my stupor. I thought I was crazy. Do not mock me, child. You do not even begin to understand who you are dealing with. 
When the weaklings of this planet trespassed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more a lord of the Sith. But when you first grasped the hilt of your lightsaber, I knew my hour had come and gone, that your strength, not mine, would return our family to glory. But I'm a former slave. That is my shame. I was once one of the greatest lords of the Sith. If I had been wiser, I could have secured my family's greatness. But I let down my guard and was betrayed by a man called Tulak Horde, whom I trusted as a friend. He places Amin's Waihai's fools. Go and did a seek from Tauhans. Ha! Your master is dead, beast. You serve the child of Kalib now. Flesh of my flesh, you should teach your servant to obey. Do not interrupt again, or there will be no feeding for you for a long time. Good. You must not take obedience for granted. In restoring our bloodline to glory, you must not make the same mistake. Treachery is the Sith's endless game. You must win it. Just because you were betrayed doesn't mean I will be. Ah, such foolish innocence. I had the same naive foolish innocence. And now... Look around you at my loyal subjects. See how they betray and murder each other, masters and apprentices alike. Beware your master, beware your apprentice. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things and you will be unstoppable. But you have not come to see me. You have come for the artifact I managed to wrest from Tulak Horde before he died. Take the artifact, but be careful. I know not what it does. Only that betrayal follows it everywhere. I'll use caution. I hunger for the day when our power will be restored. We will meet again. Do you have the artifact yet? You wouldn't want to spoil the surprise now, would you? Oh, oh. oh you're teasing me, apprentice. Hurry back to Scotus. I mean, my chambers. I have a surprise for you. I love surprises. Trust me, you'll love it. Now hurry back with the artifact. I can't wait. Fantastic apprentice. You're just in time for my surprise. Since you left for the Dark Temple, I've been reading and reading and reading. Scotia's chambers are a treasure trove of research. Now, who would have thought a man like that had such a curious intellect? It almost makes me regret that we had to kill him. But I digress. I trust you were successful in the Dark Temple? Did you expect otherwise? Of course not. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? Apparently, he was my ancestor. Remarkable. A slave's lost ancestor turns up in the Dark Temple. And I sense your incredible destiny doesn't stop there. I've been studying Tulak Horde's artifacts closely for some time. And one glance at this one you've brought back confirms everything I've suspected. These artifacts will change everything, Apprentice. You especially. They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. Let me guess. You've been dreaming again. Always and ever. 
This artifact is one of five that together describe a peculiar ritual used by the great Tulak Horde when he conquered the Drummond system. Until I have all the artifacts, I cannot understand the full nature of the ritual, but I have foreseen that you alone will wield the ritual's power. The artifacts are scattered across the galaxy, some hidden by Tulak Horde himself and some wrenched from his hands by betrayers. Documents in Scotia's effects point to Balmora and Narshada, but I will need to do more research to locate the other two. It seems I'm always stuck serving others. Nonsense. You are doing this for yourself, Apprentice. I have foreseen the power you will gain. But first, I believe I mentioned a surprise earlier. If you're going to find these artifacts, you'll need a ship, and so I have ordered you one. All you need to do is pick it up. For me? You're too kind. Yes, you've earned it. You'll find your ship at the spaceport. Then, the galaxy is yours to explore. Don't forget to contact me when you reach each planet for more information on the artifact's locations. Good luck and good hunting. Ababarna habans, kalaubbena, ni in usakwai, usi terens apipao.